Can I keep them? Please? She's a goose now. <laughs> a mother goose. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to you, me, and the movies. Tonight we got a special request. Special request. Granddaddy the Dudester. Coming in hot. What are we watching? We're watching a little family film called Fly Away Home from Jeff Daniels Sweet. and a young Anna Paquin. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is probably her first, like, one of her breakout roles. Okay. Of her young acting career. Yeah. And it's based on a true story. Cool. Now, I remember this when I was younger. My little sister she used to love this movie. And oh, I really? su was surprised that you'd never seen it because it's a good one. Mm -hmm. And Dudester says, Hope you got some tissues with handy. I uh, agree. It's like a homeward bound sort of situation. Gonna tug right? on your heartstrings a little. Got a or at least your anti cry drink. Got it. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. It's a good one. All right. Are you ready to fly away home? I suppose I am. Let's do it. Let's take off. But first, like, comment, subscribe, come hang out with us. If you feel like it, you could even be like the Dudester. Yeah, if you want to get our special request in, check out our Patreon link down below. You might be able to snag one of those spots. Or you get early access, full cover access to post-ups, big watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Also, social media. So if you like it, do it. And if you don't like it, don't do it. Mm. Let's watch Fly Away Home. Here we go. I'm already going to cry. New Zealand. The voice sounds familiar. Like Carol King or something. Oh, she's going to die or something, right? Car accident. Mom dies. You come in with a song this sad. Somebody's dying. Someone's in the opening dying, scene. and in a rainy night yeah. scene, yeah, somebody dies. So she's living in New Zealand with her mom, who's now dead. She has to be sent to America to live with her dad that she doesn't know at all. Dad, why are you here? I, I came down from Canada. Canada. Who's mom? Mom died, didn't she? Yikes. One month later. Yeah, never a good sign. Your long lost dad shows up in the hospital. I haven't done any work to speak of on the house in, uh, well, in nine years. Well, he's a crazy artist. I'm really tired. Well, she has her own room. With the wood shop supplies in it. I'm just gonna invent One man flight air right here. <laughs> Canada was a little behind. <laughs> it's like the Orville brothers. <laughs> He doesn't die right here. That'd be really know, sad for right? her. Not a good time to risk it. <laughs> it does look like fun. Yeah, but how do you land without breaking your legs? Yep, that's exactly what I was wondering. Guess you just pick your legs up and let your ass take the fall, huh? Coming in hot! Youch. <laughs> well, your dad's dead. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking lunatic. She was not impressed. 
Uh, she thought you died for a second. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I just lost my mom last <laughs> week, and then I just watched my dad fly himself into the ground and kill himself. <laughs> Like a real craftsman, though. Yeah. You didn't think I could fly, did you? What do you think? I wouldn't go and brag about it. The flight was cool. The landing. It's actually, a pretty good landing for me. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a beard, and he look like you. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm behind. I, I gotta deliver him. And... You're not a baby. You don't have to hold my hand. She should go to school. Canada. They don't have school in Canada. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Her dad's an alien. Right? Well, at least he's got someone to keep house for him. What's that? Fridge. Oh, it's a refrigerator. Just don't pitch your hands. Very original. Hmm. How do you tell what's in it? You open it and then you look. Why is there a spaceship in the barn? That's the lunar lander. I built that. It was the uh, winter you and your mom left. Remember, she thought I was crazy for doing it. Hmm. I was too. I had no money. I had a busted ankle. Broke his ankle flying. And then built the lunar lander. Broke his ankle landing. <laughs> totally different. <laughs> Every home should have one. Hey, I've been offered a lot of money for that. Not enough to sell it, though, apparently. Do you live here, too? Well, um, yes. I do. Sometimes I... Excuse me. Jeez, her mom wasn't dating. Why is her dad? Those earrings? Looks like it. We want to leave this place. I know, it's gorgeous. Those keys are pissed. He loses land, do you think? Why did all this have to happen? She got survivor's guilt, PTSD, depression, all that stuff from losing her mom. Yeah, everything. So, not his land, just land that is next, next to, to his, his land, yeah. yeah. Oh no. Is that a Bjorn? Yeah. A baby carrier or something. They're close to hatching. Yeah. They're making noises. There's all her mom's old scarves that she left here. A little nest. a lot of eggs. Shit ton. Oh my god. More than a dozen, right? Okay. No, Books, no, Dad, shoes, no. hat, bag. Where's your bag? Wait. Okay. Go, go, go. Okay. We're coming. Dad. We're coming. School. You belong in school. Every day, period. Go. Go, 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 go. She's got eggs to look after. All right. Math tonight, right? We'll be home by 10. Don't worry about anything. In bed by 8.30. Well, math can be really fun. Really can. Math can be really fun. It can only be fun if you're a dork. <laughs> Hear that, mathematicians out there? You're all dorks. It's true. Jeez. I'm sure they'd own it, too. Nothing wrong with being a dork. No. This guy's a dork, too. Definitely. Call him a 
<laughs> Call him on that. Uh oh. Tombstone. Oh god. How does he do that? That guy's dead now. That's why they call him the Undertaker. <laughs> What do you do now? Oh, well, you can't eat the eggs anymore. Are you my mom? Oh, well, yeah, they just all imprinted on her. <laughs> Aww. Which is that there's nothing left to save. I mean, it's a done deal. And it's an outrage. I'm proud to be one of the they you speak of. My land is part of the package, because I can't make a living off it anymore. If I don't sell, how am I going to send my kids to college? You live in Canada. Doesn't the government pay for their college? Maybe not. And the general peace of mind, unless we forget the animals that we share this land with, because they're all on the brink of disappearing from this place forever, if this permit is passed, so think about it. Okay, forever? It's a bit hyperbolic. The geese are not going to disappear forever. They're just going to go find another pond. Yeah. Disappear from there. Yeah. How you doing? Mm -hmm. What time did she go to sleep? Who? What time did she go to sleep? Uh, sorry. Monday Night Raw was too intense. He uh, totally forgot what he was doing. Well, now we know why she was going to the marsh. Okay for her to sleep. Okay. Somebody's got to keep the chicks warm. <laughs> Can I keep them, please? She's a goose now. <laughs> a mother goose. <laughs> Are you sure you can handle this? Yes, I'm, sh I'm sure. Okay, I go. Shit to everywhere. Go now. He'll just shit on the table and, you know, exert his dominance over them. See, geese learn everything from their parents. Uh, everything from what to eat, how to fly, when to migrate, where to migrate to. Migrate, that's right. When do they do that? Without the parental influence, uh, your geese are going to get the urge to fly. They're going to take off and not know where they're going. Fly him fucking south, man. <laughs> I wonder if his Orville spacecraft will fly him south. Right, the Wright brothers, not the Orville brothers. Yeah, they <laughs> <make popcorn. laughs> his name was Orville Wright. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking of the Redenbachers. <laughs> I got the first name, just the last name. <laughs> The Wright Brothers. What an idiot. They're like, Mom! Mom, wait! They really Mom! did imprint on her. That's so cute. There's so many of like them. 20 plus. It's amazing, isn't it? How they uh, follow her around like that. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, called imprinting. First living thing a goose sees when it's born, it automatically assumes it's its mother. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, birds love popcorn. Our chickens love popcorn. Mm -hmm. I, I get calls all the time. You know, they land on people's front lawns. Please don't clip your nails at the table. Um, all domestically raised geese have to be rendered flightless. Better known as pinioning. He's gonna do that right now. Fuck off. What do we have here? Come here Fuck off, don't touch them. Sir, please leave me alone. Your name's Amy, isn't it? Oh shit. Don't. Now what you do is you take the wing and you just shave a bit off the cuticle. No, 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 no. <laughs> They all fit in that popcorn bowl. If your birds fly, I'm gonna have to confiscate them. Just try and fly and catch them. How are you gonna tell which birds are theirs and which are just normal, regular fucking birds? 
Look, sweetie, I, I promise I won't let anybody hurt them, all right? Open the door. This way should have just checked a book out from the library on how to take care of geese. Uh, last thing you want to do is ask the government. She's locked herself in the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> I hope I wasn't able to get out of that. Uh, I think the bottom line is that uh, she just doesn't want to be here. She doesn't have anywhere else to be. It's like, that guy almost clipped my wig! Oh. How you doing? Good. Here, I got those battens for you. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Thank Who's you. that? He's from Outlander. This this straight up elevator off a of cliff burble. Oh. That must have been going up two thousand feet a minute. No kidding. Wow. That's... He's without his accent though. Do they like hot water? It's a weird shower dispenser. Oh, that's traumatizing. Jamie Dornan. I think that's his name. Oh. You're right. He's so weird. You're right, he is. <laughs> He's, my friend. He's so weird. I promise you nothing is going to happen to those geese. Nothing. I won't let it, and neither will your dad. <laughs> It's the first thing she's attached to since losing her mom, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gorgeous. They're like, she's got pretty wings. No, I'm wrong. That's not his name at all. Jamie Dorn and someone else. That's the Fifty Shades of Grey guy. Can't mm -hmm. get anything right today. Just like wrong about everything. Is it the main guy in Outlander? Yeah. Sam Hagen. I was way off. His name's Jamie Fraser in Outlander. Oh, okay. I can confuse myself about everything. The curve, the airflow moves faster over the top because it has further to go, less pressure on top, ergo lift. Adding the motor. Sounds great. Kill. 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 We need a big yeah. engine. Yeah. He needs a, a plane that doesn't take leg power to land and take off. Hey guys, mom. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 Tripping over each other. Ah, God. Everyone's like, shit. I sprained my ankle. With this baby, you could fly the Empire State Building. Yeah, you end up as a big pile of ground round, one of the two. Yeah, well, there's only one way to find out. It's a little, it's a little prop. Definitely a bigger engine, though. Oh, shit. And he was never seen again. Oh, God. Well, I mean, what do you expect? Momentum of the engine is going to push him <laughs> right into his face. He was born with a bit of a limp, so I was thinking of calling him Gimpy or something like that. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. Might give him a complex, though. You might want to think of something more it's true. strong. You know. Hercules. Um... Igor. Igor? Yeah, you know, like in Dr. Frankenstein, the, uh, you know, Master. You're right. Go-kart. Wheels. He built this in, like, a couple days? Just... <laughs> There's got to be regulations on homemade airplanes, right? One would think. <laughs> Especially in Canada. Look, 
They're going to try to fly away eventually. That's what they do. They're migratory. We can keep them in the barn. Yeah, sure. We could keep them in the barn. It's kind of like jail. Could also clip their wings. Yeah, I mean, you might as well clip their wings if you're going to keep them trapped, locked in the barn, right? I could show them the way by flying with them in my plane. How far south do they have to go? Mexico. Our problem is that, that your birds, they don't have anybody to show them the way. So they're going to take off and they're going to get lost or they're going to get shot by hunters or, you know, worse. They're not going to follow you. No, oh, she'll have to go with you. Believe me, Amy, this could work. And I promise you, it'll be okay. As long as he stays in the air. Doesn't crash. Well, they like him now. Get off the movie. Look at him. Really getting them assimilated, which is so cool. I mean, brilliant. Just building it up. Nope, they didn't take to it. They're really devoting a lot of time to this. Whatever happened to his dragon? Did he ever get that sent in? I think in? they finished it. I hope so, because he's been spending every day building different <laughs> winged ships for the last month. <laughs> like, Mom, where'd you go? Oh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, they're flying with her. Oh, God. She okay? Talk to me. Talk to me, Amy. Oh, Hi. Anything broken? Yeah, I, th I, th I thought you were. We got a first hug. <laughs> Suppose I built another aircraft and then taught Amy how to fly it. Suppose you just made it a two person one. Possibility. She nearly broke her neck yesterday. And I you know, wanted to. I know. This is a joke, right? No. You're kidding. No, yeah, it's yeah, not. No. It's brilliant. I knew you could think of something. <laughs> well, yeah, it'll fly at 28, 29 miles an hour. Really? You're going to buy her a plane. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure he bought his own wings. I don't know if he built those wings. He sold, sold the, the lunar, lunar lander. lander. Cool. It's just like a goose. Oh, they oh, bought a two-seater. Twofer. You got it. I'm not doing anything. It's all you, Amy. Beautiful. Good lean and smooth. Push out of the barn. Up we go. Got it, girl. Got it, girl. Like, how long does that fly for, though? Uh, like, yeah, I know. How big's the gas tank? Well, how far south do they need to go, though? You well, know? I'm sure they make stops at ponds along the way. Yep. Plane's gonna be a lot lighter because I'm not in it. Okay? I know, Dad. And that means you're. you're, you're oh. Your engine cuts out. You can just glide right down here onto the field. Okay. Sure. Don't you go anywhere other than the field. You understand? Yeah, I know. That's the thing about flying. Like, you don't have to be a certain age to do it. Yeah. You just have to have you know the how. hours in the air, right? The experience. She lost communications. Oh no. They are worried. Mom 
Goose, Goose, can you read me? They've flown the coop. Come in. Hopefully they stay far enough away from the back of that plane, though. They're following her. Like, Mom! 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 What's happening? Go either go! He's like, ugh. I wonder if they got the actual geese from what the story's based off to fly with them for all these shots. This is based on a true story. I believe right? it. Flying though, are they? Nope. Sure aren't. So where's to keep the airplanes? What airplanes? Okay, Amy. I'll see you again. You can count on it. Okay. Yes. How long you're gonna lay over? Yes. And then where you're gonna end up? Yeah, they're gonna flight them. Do their flight path. Go down. Just do, me do this. Just, just go do like, me here's favor. us. Here's like Florida. I'll look <laughs> yeah, he's going to have to fly into the United States. Look, it really works if it's done right. And if geese can do this, then maybe really rare birds, maybe they can learn it too. We can start new flocks and give them a crack at a comeback, you know? Got to save birds. If no wild birds show up by November 1st, these chaps are just itching to take over. November 1st? Really? So if we're here by then, it's ours? Uh, no, not actually yours. <laughs> well, they got a destination now. The journey will take four days of good weather. 30 nautical miles to Lake Ontario, and then 30 more across the lake to the U.S. of A. We fly over Maryland, just east of Baltimore, and then south across the Potomac to the lowlands of Virginia. Have they contacted the FFA yet? I don't think they need to if they stay below a certain Elevation. height. Yeah, the radar doesn't require planes to do that. It's like a crop duster. They're not yeah. flying high enough in the air that it matters. And the wild ones, they average five, six flight hours a day. That means we've got to get ours up to four, and then I, I think we'll be all right. Can that plane fly for five hours straight? Probably. Mama Goose, go ahead, we're ready. Eagle? Just strap him in the chair with you. Mama Goose, we have a lift off. There you go. Wait, I see him. Amy, hey, Amy, watch out. Here he comes on your right wing. Dad, Dad, I hit him. Dad. Dad. Amy, listen to me. Look behind you. You gotta take care of the others. Let's just turn around and head home now. Oh boy. They lose Igor. She just needs to strap strap him to her chest. Take him along. We're going to find him tonight. We have to. Uh oh. Oh, peck him in the face. I don't believe it. Igor! <laughs> what a dick. Daddy! Don't squeeze Igor too tight, jeez. Put him in goose jail. To break him out? Definitely. Um, my brother and I, we were camping, and the weirdest little critter came into our tent, just waltzed in, nasty little sucker. Um, I have no idea as to what it might be. You brought it back. Alive? Out in the truck. <laughs> it's a great one. Did you bring gloves? <laughs> oh, God. I must have gotten out. I don't see. Do you have kids around here? Uh, what did it look like? What? 
It's a jailbreak! Now they're wanted fugitives. Yeah. Amy, we've got to make 120 nautical miles by sundown, fly across Lake Ontario, cross an international boundary without a permit, carrying stolen goods, without filing a flight plan. Yeah, that is pretty ballsy. I mean, might be a little tricky getting into the United States <laughs> yeah. with no, uh, you know, fighter jets coming out. I mean, maybe not in like the 90s or 80s <laughs> or 90s when this happened, but now. We're already past the point of no return, so it's going to be landfall around dark. Uh-oh. What you got? No idea. Very unorthodox signature, sir. Hey, man, that's a UFO. It's a UFO! Papa Goose, you got some local tide birds back here. Landfall in about five minutes, Amy. All they really need is for somebody in the media to get a sniff yeah. of this, and then... Everyone will be like... Go, goose, go! <laughs> and the government's like, ah, oh, crap, we can't do anything now. Whoa, I think we just lucked out. I got a visual on what appears to be an airfield. It's like an Air Force base. <laughs> uh oh. Yep. It's the highway to the danger zone. Finally. Give me a landing. Here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Military police <laughs> freeze. It's just a flock of geese. Believe me, we didn't we had no idea this was an Stop Air playing with those birds. Yes, you caused me and my staff a mountain of paperwork and you're really sorry? We promise we'll never do it again. Until next year when they have to migrate south again. They'll be able to do it on their own then. <laughs> yeah, it's good PR at this point. Yeah. 14 year old Amy Alden and 15 Canada geese. She's leading them south in this really big goose. No, I'm, I'm not kidding. This is for real. I like it when they wear socks. It's still the wild ride. Flat on their back. He's gonna have nightmares listening to that. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It's the wild ones, Amy. They're going with them. We've got to follow them or we'll lose them. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> Dad, he's shooting. Whoa. Holy shit. <laughs> the giant goose. Set up on a short final to that field at your 11 o'clock. Are they close to their destination? I would say this is a stop along the way. <laughs> Pretty soon. We're almost, almost done. done. Okay? And then we'll go to town? What? No, you can't join us. Not today. But you could go um, find a pair of clothes yeah, to change into? Yeah, go find some into. clothes to wear to town, okay? Okay, then we'll go to town as soon as we're done, okay? About 20 more minutes, okay? Love you. You're cute. <laughs> Don't spill your Cheez-Its. Isn't she the little girl I've seen on television? <laughs> <laughs> She's a celebrity. You heard about Amy and Thomas Alden? Flying with the birds. Now, Larry, no more bird jokes. No, they Some pie? Oh, yeah. What happened between you and Mum? What did she tell you? She said you were both to blame. Well, we couldn't have been all wrong. We got you. But you hardly ever came to see me. Yeah, well, New Zealand's pretty far away. That's a really lame excuse, Dad. <laughs> yeah. It's so true. Why did your mom go to New Zealand now? That's probably where she was from. They're like, oh yeah, we know her. <laughs> Where's 
worried about Igor making it back. <laughs> like, is he going to know the flight path even though he didn't make it down there? I kind of wonder if she just keeps Igor with her. Man. Goose ground, we're in the soup. Roger, Papa Goose, over and out. Dad, oh, shit. They're in Baltimore. I can't walk away from it all. Just for a bunch of ducks. Keys. Whatever. <laughs> it's their home now if they land there. After this media upstormer, who's going to want to buy a house in that development and be one of the assholes that took the house exactly. away from the geese? Uh oh. Landed in a cornfield. It's a pretty great place to land. Yeah. If you're gonna crash somewhere. God damn. Are you okay? Wait. What are we gonna do now? She has to fly by herself. You can do it. I can't find my way without you. Yes, you can. You're just like one of the goose. Geese. Gooses. Geese. Yeah. I wish she was here now. She is. She's in the geese. She's in the sky. She's all around you. And she won't let you down. I want you to go, you take that plane, you take those geese, and you fly away. Fly away home. Look for a lot of cars and people. For all the news trucks. I should know, don't know the name of the town from the sky, though. <laughs> be big, ah, New Hope! New, new there hope it is. Sign. She found New Hope. It's the geese girl! How'd you get here? <laughs> Shut that thing up! Just needed her to yell from the beginning, huh? Yeah. They're almost there. She's following the coastline now. Those geese are tagged. Well, yeah, that mean guy tagged him when you put him in the cages. Oh, yeah. Lanny's going to be the hardest part. Coasting in. Just put the brakes on. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are probably freaking out. I was like, oh my god, there's a lot of people here. He's gonna his tractor and drive home. Water must be nice there. Yeah. How do they sneak Amy away? <laughs> right, so they don't follow her back. In the following spring, Amy's flock took off and headed north on their own. All 16 geese, including including Igor, returned to Amy's front porch. That's awesome. Every year they gotta fly back south with them. They know how to do it, though. Well, they probably do it on their own now. Huh? They know their way. All right. What yeah. a great movie. Yeah, got uh, nominated for an Academy Award for Best Cinematography for all that aerial shots. Yeah, right. Yeah, beautiful geese shots. For sure. You're right. Yeah, all the aerial shots, all the beautiful geese shots. Yeah, very cool. Well deserved. I'd love to know that. Like, I'm wondering if they used the the, the flock same geese uh -uh. for all the shots. And uh -huh. just so, I'm sure somebody filmed, reflew the route for the the movie. Maybe. Right? Yes. 
Does anyone know? Birds of a Feather featurette. Operation Migration. It's probably in that. There's also a documentary in the special features. would be interesting to watch. Oh, well, I guess we could watch the special features. Yeah, so there you go. So what do you think? Loved it. Yeah. It's a good, wholesome story. It really is, yeah. When, when did this happen? In the 80s? This came out in 1996. It was based on an autobiography. Late 80s, early 90s? Probably. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I've seen this before. I didn't remember like all the details of it, but I knew it in the whole plot line, right? Mm. Maybe it's because I've seen it, but I vaguely remember like the news. Or it's, maybe it's just because I've seen it. Yeah, you know, hard to, hard to when know. When I was little. So it's hard to. But yeah, Real memories had to have been ones. nationwide, you know, media storm because sure, yeah. the unique aspect of it. Very great cool. story of yeah. it. So, yeah. Jeff Daniels playing the dad, doing a great job. Yeah. And Anna Paquin. This wasn't her first movie, right? I don't. And I don't know. But, yeah. Good stuff. Great movie. I wonder if they actually had like a flock of geese imprint on her for the film. I kind those of feel like they would have had to, right? right? Yeah, otherwise, why would they Did they recreate her? the actual story for this film? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> they did it once. We'll do it again for the movie. Maybe. So, had Anna actually play Amy in a way. So that's fun. The girls will love this movie. Well. They will. I know. I can't wait it. to watch it with them. Yeah. I'll love that. Yeah. Well, what else is on your mind after Fly Away Home? Just thank you to the dudester for picking a good old family, wholesome yeah, family old, movie. Good old wholesome story. Yeah, yeah, very fun. So I wonder if they used this uh, tactic, though, like they were going to do for, you know, preservation of other rare flocks. and Probably. Help them migrate. Probably. It's a cool concept. It worked once. Maybe it could work again. Right? Yeah. All right. Well, what should people comment on after Fly Away Home? Tell us what you know about the true yeah. story. If you know anything about the true story, let us know all mm-hmm. the details. Yeah. All right. How close to accurate is it? Yeah, I'm. I'm sure some of this stuff was embellished, like the hunters shooting at them. Oh yeah, I'm stuff. sure. Yeah, they had a little action there to make it more dramatic in the in the film aspect part of it. For sure. I'm pretty sure probably the air force base was probably true, right? I imagine. Like they actually, and then had the pictures, you know, the whole media, yeah, pictures stuff. So it might be the most dramatic part that happened on their trip was them accidentally landing at an air force base. That's so, right. So yeah, let us know all the details if you know them. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for a different movie. Yeah, and if you want to be like Grandmaster Dudester, Mm -hmm. check out our Patreon link down below. Grandmaster. (laughs) Granddaddy Dudester. I don't know why I said Grandmaster. (laughs) But yeah, you might be able to get a snag one of those special request slots. You can also get early access, fully covered access, pulls, helps, pick a rush, links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.